hello and welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to see how you can fetch one minute data for four years using fires api so if you if you might be using fires api uh, the fires uh, api has a limitation of fetching one minute data of only 100 days so in this video we're going to see how we can <coughs> fetch it for more than 100 days so let's see uh, till what date fires has data on its website so let me just change it to 2017 and we'll go to uh, Jan 2017 so it is still loading we'll just check all right so here we are uh, so I don't think it has the data till Jan 2017, it has data from 17th July 2017. All right, so the price is, yeah, here we go. We found it, we just found it right here. All right, it has prices from this time frame forward. All right, so how do we fetch all this data uh, using the API? So let's just go and open up the Python code. First of all, you need to log in into the fire into your fires account the login process is the same i'm not going to show show it right now so after logging in as uh, we have seen it in the docs you need to first you know send this data and then fires.history so after doing that uh, let me just bring it over here Okay, so for this, uh, if we want to put the date format as a string, we need to put this integer as one, then we'll be able to put it as a string. And then uh, basically what we need is uh, the date range from for just for the sake of example, right now I'm going to write date is equal to. So in this format we need we need the current date all right so i got the current date and i will get the date five days back so let me just you know date time dot date ready. all right and then the same thing yeah, so we got the starting date and the ending date. So date from would be this date one and date two would be current today's date that we just got. All right. So right now we're fetching for SBI uh, and let's just see what output we get. so if we check x we you can see that we've got the data for four days over here this was selected on one day i guess yeah if we change it to one we'll get every minute's data <clears throat> for last four days all right so as you can see we have got it but it is in as you can see it is in a dictionary and <clears throat> they have entered timestamp instead of date time format so how do we change it so first of all, uh, we need to convert this entirely into a data frame. So here on this line, we are doing it. Let me just show you how it works. Yeah, so we are going to convert entirely into the data frame. So let me just see data. Sorry, not data. We need to convert this X. So we need to convert this entirely into a data frame. As you can see, we've got the data frame here. Now this uh, shouldn't be in the timestamp. This should be in date time format. So for that, we directly can change uh, the timestamp into a date time format. But we need to enter unit as S for it to understand. So it is given directly in the date time library. 
but first we need to convert all the columns so let me just copy these two lines which i had done before okay so after doing that we'll be able to convert this uh, date time into a date time so as you can see indian timing is 9 15 to 3 30 but we are getting over here 0 3 45 this is this time is in utc so for that we need to convert the utc time to indian time right so we'll need to copy we'll need to enter this line of code which will convert which will localize the date time and we'll be able to convert it to the asia kolkata which is indian time so after doing that as you can see we, we are getting the time getting it in india time but we are getting plus 530 over here if you don't want uh, to get that we can then convert a dt time uh, we can localize the time and we can change it to none so after doing that finally we have got date time here and if you want date time to be our index we can obviously set that it's a very easy step so the date time becomes date time becomes the index and we've got all the data that we need but as i said before we can fetch data only of 100 days uh, so over here we need to create a loop wherein we'll be fetching the data first for first 100 days then we'll be appending that data next data below the previous data so for doing that i've created a loop over here i'll explain that in a while before that i've uh, obviously converted whatever i explained before into a function so it will be easier for us to fetch the data we just need to enter the symbol starting date end date and enter will have set right now to one so as uh, like as we need only one minute data correct so first of all as we saw before the starting date was uh let's okay so before i had kept the starting date as this 7th july 2000 uh, sorry 3rd july 2017 and the end date should be of today and we are creating a blank pandas data frame as we need to <coughs> append all the data into this data frame so currently this is an empty data frame and now we need to calculate the number of days which are for which we need to fetch the data so if you can see the number of total number of days for which you need to fetch data is 16 56 so what we are doing here is i am creating a loop which will go through uh, which will fetch data for first 100 days and then it will keep on appending till uh, the remaining days are turned zero so what is happening is till time this abf kept none so till ab is none will be going through this loop so first of all we'll be getting the starting date so starting date is nothing but end date minus n n is nothing but the the end the value which we got before the total number of days so we are getting that then the uh, starting date we got then the ending date would be starting date plus 99 as uh, as there are 99 days only for 99 days we can fetch at a time so they have kept a restriction fires has kept a restriction of fetching 100 days at a time right so uh, if the days if n is greater than 100 then uh, it would be 99 otherwise uh, the end date would be just n so what we're doing is starting date plus uh, then plus 99 days would be the end date and then we are converting the starting date into a into a string which is which is this format specifically and ed also we have converted into uh, a string all right now we are going to get dx is a data frame which i have created over here so we are going to save uh, the data the historical data that we have fetched for bank nifty into this dx so as we are getting a data frame through this function we are saving it into a dx so uh, and previously we had created a empty data frame so in that empty data frame we are going to append dx so every time a uh, new data is fetched it is going to get uh, appended into this df data frame all right so once we have successfully fetched data for first 100 days we are going to reduce the 100 number from it and uh, we are going to you know get the next data for the next 100 days uh, using this line so once first of all it is uh, currently the total number of days is 1656 all right 
so the starting date would be uh, this which we had before over here and the end date would be 10th uh, 10 10 to 2017 so that is 99 days from the starting date so once we reduce the 100 days from this then the starting date becomes uh, the next day so basically uh, previous end date was 10th 10 10 now the current starting date would become 11 10 so that is how this loop is working and at the end uh, once all the fetching is done we are uh, you know subtracting this value if uh, n is less than 100 we are just subtracting n minus n so it will become zero and if n is zero we are going to stop this loop by saying a b is equal to done so if a b is not none the loop will get stopped all right so let's just run this loop and see uh, what happens let me just uh, run th these lines again and we'll go through the loop Right, so just avoid this error over here this is the the error of the log function i haven't kept any log uh, directory or this for uh, fires for fires uh, library so just avoid that for now if you can see right now at five one five five six then the loop went through it went till over here zero and if you can let's now check how many entries are there in df data frame over here you can see so many entries are there i'm not gonna risk opening it because uh, the the file size would be very large and now if you just want to save it into say a csv file i'm gonna just write underscore one over here so we'll be able to save it just by entering df.2 csv and then you will be able to use this data either for back testing or with your ami broker so this is the easiest step by which you'll be able to fetch uh data for multiple days as much as you want using the fire api thanks a lot if you have any errors of or if you face any difficulties or if you think there are any corrections to the code i have kept a link below to the to my telegram group just post it over there and we'll check the issue thanks a lot